What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. <clears throat> my voice feels a little weak. I've been recording all day. That might be why. And I'm still kind of getting over, like, when I was sick a week or whatever ago. I don't know. Time kind of just, like, melts together at this point. Doesn't matter. We're here to take care of some business. Uh, Lil Dirk, um, I'm going to keep the content coming, guys. You watch it. You comment. You interact. So, um... Here we are. This is the album. Uh, this is called Just Cause Y'all Waited 2. This was one that like uh, multiple people had mentioned and said that I have to check this one out. Uh, that it would be like, you know, there would be some songs that I would like. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And then from here, we can kind of figure out in the comments what you guys want to see next. Uh, on this first half, I do have to do it in two parts because it's 22 songs. I'm not going to sit here for 22 songs in a row. Uh, so we'll do it in two parts. In this first half, we have three songs that we've already reacted to. Three Headed Goat, really good song. Uh, Lil Baby had a really good verse on that. And then Polo G, uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge Polo G fan. So uh, I enjoyed his part on that as well. We've done All Love. Uh, that was actually one of the first Dirk songs that I think I really connected with and really liked. Uh, the sound of it and just kind of some of the stuff that he was talking about in there. Um and then Viral Moment. Viral Moment, I don't remember as clearly, but I have reacted to it. So if you want to check those out, you're welcome to check them out. Uh, just giving you guys a heads up that we won't be covering those, but we are starting with Different Meaning. Here we go. When you wake up off the pills, that feeling terrible. The worst thing to be. Hold up, it's a little loud. One second. Let me just adjust the volume real fast. I was like killing my ears. Okay, here we go. When you wake up off the pills, that feeling terrible. The worst thing to be known is when they scared of you. And they gon' laugh right in your face when they ahead of you. And to be technical, that shit we do is federal. Holding tear backs from this life is so unbearable. You a copycat that's not lean, it's Theraflu. I'm gonna jump on the top of my money. Yo. Okay, I like this already. I like this one already. I mean, like, you know, I just think that anytime we're talking about, like, a slightly deeper subject matter, like, I just instantly am, like, engaged and I want to know more. So, you know, him talking about up here, when you wake up off the pills, that feeling's terrible. Uh, and then this part right here, and to be technical, that shit, what, that shit that we do is federal. Uh, I like that he's like making a distinction between the crimes that he's doing. Like this is not small time stuff. Like we're, if we're doing stuff, it's the big stuff. Uh, but this line right here, holding tears back from this life, it's so unbearable. And then the next line, I like the little shout out to uh, Theraflu, but it was a nice little, you know, like cough syrup, lean cough syrup, Theraflu. That was a nice mix right there. You a copycat that's federal. Holding tear backs from this life is so unbearable. You a copycat that's not lean, it's Theraflu. Mm. I'ma jump on the top of my money with a parachute. Yo. And who you look up to a hoe, I wouldn't dare salute. I keep taking care of my killers, they wouldn't care to shoot. I got your address from a bitch that's for a parachute. You got a text like he got hit, that shit be scary new. They told me, get up out the streets, you can go back to school. My life hurts so bad Thinking about if you was here What kind of life you would have Nowadays the way we live We live our life on the edge Nowadays the way we live You would die if you scared uh. Yo, let's this go This life is for the ghetto This life, this life, this life This life is for the ghetto This life, this life, this life Nobody's been fearing us I put real life inside this music They not hearing us I know it was real, I had some real killers tearing up. I did all I can for them, they not so serious enough. Listen. If if there's more stuff on this album like this, y'all understand me at this point. You know what, what music is going to be more up my alley. And I'm not trying to hate on music that isn't. I'm just saying that like music is about connection and relatability. And I can't, like it's just not my life, so I can't relate to... Uh, violence, killing somebody, drug, like I just can't relate to it because I've never done that. It's never been a thing that I've experienced. But like when he talks about emotions, 
even if the emotions are caused by things I haven't done. So again, maybe by the killings and, and just other things that have happened. But the emotion itself is something I can relate to. And I just got to say, man, like nobody put fear in us. I put real life inside this music. They're not hearing us. Like, I know what's real. I had some real killers tearing up. I love this. This is so good so far. Wow. I had some real killers tearing up. I did all I can for them. They not sincere enough. They stopped leaving me way back then. They can't cheer at us. They get treacherous. That's why they don't mention us. Why you holding on to a snitch? Just get that victim up. They can't take us alone. That's why they clicking up. They told me to go pop and get the trenches up. I say fuck that shit for killers inside a belly truck. It would've been five but one of them died, so I was giving up. Wish I talked to him on the last call, so I'm live it up. Mm, in love, what a love. You know it's tiring, trying to clean blood from a rug. You know it's tiring, watching my back and duck and slugs. I know two robbers said they tired of sticking up. This life is for the ghetto. This life, this life, this life. This life is for the ghetto. This life, this life, this life. This life, this life, this life. This life is for the ghetto This life, this life, this life This life is for the ghetto This life, this life, this life Wow Very, very strong start to the album, I must say um guys that, that one might be getting added to the playlist again i'm very selective about what i actually do listen to outside of the channel um but that that was like it's almost like someone was like i don't know like let's make a song that z would like <laughs> that's what that was that's a very like conceited and like self-centric way to think but um I'm just saying, like, it felt like I was like, I listened to the last Dirk album and I, I just didn't get a lot of that category of music. And so I come to this album and that being the first song, I'm like super happy about that. Um, so anyways, let's keep it going. Um, this one is called Street Affection. So I have uh, the lyrics pulled up on Genius over here. We're going to get into it. I feel, okay, so I don't know what's going to happen by the time you guys are watching this, but I feel like I'm going to get hit with copyright because of this visualizer. I'm going to try my best to keep the official on, but what might happen is this might be blurred right now. And if it is, it's just because copyright hit me with the, because of the visualizer, so... Even street niggas need that love and affection Big homies, not big homies, they ain't trying to get direction The advice they gave to me, I told them niggas they could've kept cause they Okay, we're doing it again, right away I'm sorry to pause, but like, I have to talk about it Again, they're not doing their jobs, they ain't serving and protecting So this is like commentary on like the police system Especially when it comes to certain demographics of the community They... There's just a there's just a lot of like shady and unjust stuff that happens, right? We know about this. So he's calling that out. He's saying even though we're in the street, like we need love and affection too. We're still human, right? But this next part, big homies, not big homies, they ain't trying to give direction. The advice the advice that they gave to me, they could have kept it. Bro, talk your shit. This is what I'm talking about. Not big homies, they ain't trying to get direction. The advice they gave to me, I told them niggas they could've kept. Could've stayed on the porch, but jumped inside the streets, I had a selection. Ain't no back and forth, talking on the net, we send a mess. We want the king, we want that tiger head like the nigga off of Tekken. Put blood, sweat, and tears inside the shit, you gotta respect. You ain't did. Nice Tekken reference there, any of my gamers. That tiger head like the nigga off of Tekken. Put blood, sweat, and tears inside the shit, you gotta respect. You ain't did shit for the street, so how you gonna put a word in? I'ma do what all I can do, but I ain't never say I was perfect. Man, that gun heavy, palm sweaty, you acting nervous. Put a hundred thousand on his head, that's two verses. The county days I used to wake up, wash up with the judge. Flex. 
he said put a hundred thousand on his head. That's two verses. You're getting paid fifty grand for a verse. That's in twenty twenty. That's probably not today's price. The hundred thousand on his head. That's two verses. The county days I used to wake up, wash up with the judge. She told me three niggas she fucked when I went in. She was a virgin, and I can't hang around no bitch niggas. I'm too allergic. A iPhone plus a iPhone, two jail calls are merging. Yo, think about what he said here, and I usually don't. <laughs> oh man, I. I usually don't like go in depth about these lines, but he says she told me that three guys like she had, you know, I don't know, had sex with three guys. When I went in, she was a virgin. Like think about what he's trying to imply. Right? Like she said that she's had sex with three guys. He's basically trying to say he's got a big no bitch, nigga, Anyways, I'm too allergic. Very, cre very creative way to say it. That's why I'm pointing it out. iPhone plus iPhone, two jail calls are merging. The one I call my brother, not my brother, because he told them other niggas we not brothers. I can't tell a nigga that I met that I love him. I be lying, I don't love him. Okay. Get in my feelings when I pop out prescriptions. I take all these pills and I crush them. If you ain't known for having cash or that bag, they gon' treat you like you nothing. Don't be telling me about wow. your block, nigga. Fuck them. You can't bring your ass around if you say fuck twin. And tour with us, kiss your kids, make sure they tucked in. Two fifties in the millennium clip, that's a buck ten. The one you look up to a pussy is nuts tucked in. Ain't had the guns fast enough, the police rushed in. And since you died for your gang, you got slumped in. You pull up bleeding out that pussy, you gotta suck it. You signed your name up on that statement, you got the best one. You ask me, do I love you? Mm hmm, I'm nonchalant. Went on the ground, seen an op dad, that's when I sparked the blunt. Yo, he just used the word nonchalant in a rap song. But listen, if I if I go back up here, I just mean like sometimes there's certain terms that you just don't hear in music or in rap, right? And then you hear it and it catches your attention. It's like, oh, I don't know if I've ever heard a rapper say nonchalant. Um, probably have i'm just saying like you know it just catches your attention but coming back up to the top here this is one of the craziest ways to say this like he said if you're into it with us kiss your kids make sure they're tucked in ask me do i love you mm -hmm. i'm nonchalant went on the ground seen an op dad that's when i sparked the blunt Maybe sip the little lean too, but that's not the point. A lot of money through Western Union get you a blocked account. I'm on camera, I got a case, so photo knock them out. We move the same, we all as one, that's what I'm talking about. I'm just saying you touch my chain, phone them, chalk them out. Yeah, yeah. Chalk them out. The one I call my brother, not my brother, cause he told them other niggas we not brothers. I love this chorus too. Oh, wait, let's pull it back. I'm sorry. The one I call my brother, not my brother, cause he told them other niggas we not brothers. I can't tell a nigga that I met that I love him. I be lying, I don't love him. Get in my feelings when I pop out prescriptions. I take all these pills and I crush them. If you ain't known for having cash or that bag, they gon' treat you like you nothing. Guys, that one's getting added to the playlist too. Again, I don't do this often. Like, I literally. Oops, I literally don't, but like, that's a very strong start to the album. And then you consider what comes next, right? So next up, right after this is Three Headed Goat. I already talked about this, like a huge feature. We got Lil Baby, we got Polo G. Um, they, all three of them killed that song. Um, so if you guys haven't seen my reaction to that, check it out. Um, and then All Love. Right. And I talked about this, like all love was one of the first songs that kind of made me realize that Dirk, Dirk didn't just have one side to him. Like there was more. And I think that's what kind of really intrigued me to, to want to check out more. Of course, I would check out more because you guys asked me to. But that's what made me internally want to say, OK, I want to see what else he can do that's like this. Um, so you look at that, like the two songs we just did, three had to go all love first four songs great great start to the album uh we're gonna keep it moving along here we got gucci gucci featuring gunna uh i'm not sure how you guys feel about that like obviously the whole situation that's gone down with gunna uh you know with young thug and everything so 
I don't know, if you want to share your thoughts, feel free to share your thoughts down below. But we're getting into this song. Gucci Gucci, here we go. I've heard that a lot. Before the verse starts, um, very catchy chorus, repetitive, reminds me of that song, um, Versace, doesn't sound like it, but it's just, that's another song with a brand name where it was very repetitive using, and it's very catchy, like you hear it and it gets stuck in your head and you're going to walk around all day saying, Gucci, 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 you know what I mean? Gucci, 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 everything, Gucci, 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 Gucci. Okay, solid verse. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time since that's not the reason why we're here. We're going to see what Dirk's going to do on this. Let's keep it rolling. Gucci, Gucci, Millie, yo, Gucci, Gucci. I might kiss that Gucci, Gucci. Lambo truck, I'm Gucci, Gucci. Shook that snakes, it's Gucci, Gucci. If you snitch, you rattle to the double bag, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> I just realized what he's saying in that verse right there. Or sorry, in the chorus right there. And again, interesting considering who the song is with. Obviously, this is before everything went down. He said, if you snitch, you ratatouille. <laughs> Gucci, 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 oh, that was a dope Gucci, scene. Gucci, Look at the mannequin. Gucci, 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 hey, that was dope. Gucci. was clever pinch and penny he said pinch and penny shooting dice is that what he said maybe he said pitch and pennies i'm not sure uh you guys let me know what, what he actually said he said that shit a hood sport that was clever I like that. that was clever. He said, when the world hears this song, they're going to keep saying Gucci Gucci. Back to the Future reference there. I don't know how many of us know that. Um, yeah, wasn't uh, wasn't there something like recently where where Lil Durk like made some comment or something in an interview? I don't know. Sometimes I see those video recommendations and I'm like, is this um, is this like legit or is this person just trying to clickbait me? And I'm sure like 90% of the time it's just clickbait, so I typically don't click on it. Uh, but I did see some video recommended that had some title. It was like Lil Durk calls out Gunna. I don't know, whatever. 
Um, yeah, moving right along, guys. That next song is Viral Moment. But as I said at the beginning of the of the reaction, I don't remember that song super well. Uh, but nonetheless, I have reacted to it. So uh, if you guys want to check that out, feel free to check out that reaction as well. We're moving right along to Lil Durk 248. 248 or 248, I'm not sure. Once he starts rapping, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Molly world. I don't even drink for real, but I down there fucked the bottle girl. I just bought a bitch two pairs of Chanel's. I told a model for it. When I'm in the club, when niggas don't like, we have a bottle war. Set my mind like we on that nigga ass. Ain't no talking to it. Give me compliments, my bitch for real, but ain't no talking to it. Champagne back to back in the Gucci store when I walk through it. Get high, then I treat the mic like therapy because I talk to it. Yo, I sit back and let's go. Treat the mic like it's therapy because I talk to it. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I walk through That's a Get bar. Get high and I treat the mic like therapy because I talk to it. Mm. I sit back and ask myself why so many times. They treating sports just like the streets. They trying to give them fines. He in the trenches without a gun. I called and gave him mine. Bump heads on my day one yesterday. I say I'm going to give him time. Hope B.A. get right back off that time. They gave him 55. I hate Tasty going forever. We locked in on 59. He was my dog. He was my round. He was like 50 twice. I made it out. I beat the odds. It got to be precise. He was my dog. He was my round. He was like 50 twice. 50 twice is 100. 100. 100. I'm talking different because this is, I'm like so immersed in the music. I say 100. Uh, so <laughs> that was dope. My dog, he was my round. He was like 50 twice. I made it out. I beat the odds. It got to be precise. Me and my auntie had some words that shit ain't me alive. See, my little daughter bad as hell and she ain't even five. He got the same time as a shooter and he ain't even drive. A OPP got hit in his T.O.P. and he ain't even die. I seen so many young niggas lose their lives. I think we know who he's talking about there, right? He said an op got hit in his top and he didn't even die. He got hit in his T.O.P. and he ain't even die. I seen so many young niggas lose their lives. That's why when I go to a funeral today, I don't even cry. That's hard. And that real shit running in my veins. Some niggas don't fuck with for real. They just want my stains. I put 90 on your head. That's one of my chains. And I can't cap that nigga Vaughn made me go to Johnny Dang. I popped the pill and hit my head down. I was feeling strange. I'm swinging first whenever a nigga asks me what I bang. When you lose five niggas and want something, that's when you'll feel my pain. You ain't got to snatch it. They'll kill you. You can't feel my chain. Bro. When you lose five friends or people or... Just people close to you. When you lose five in one summer, that's when you'll feel my pain. That's crazy. Is it one summer? That's when you'll feel my pain. You ain't got to snatch it. They'll kill you. You can't feel my chain. I'm the highest in the room. I feel just like LaFlame. They'll give you life, but change to a dub if you give them name. Yeah, my life for real, for real. This not a movie. If a nigga I know support my song, they'll call them groups. And they ain't even meet little baby, but they'll go post his music. And that's my dog for show. Sure. Yeah. That's my dog for show. Sure. And I be stressed out with my kids. Sometimes I don't call it all. And you be acting like you off perks, but you off Tylenol. I done popped some X and I told my mom I was off Adderall. I buy that Glock, I need that switch, I need that attach me off. Yo, man. This is the one. This album's the one. Wow, man. He said some stuff there. Oh, guys. <laughs> I mean, I look, I'm not trying to compare because a few of you made some like really good points and just in terms of like um, just comments that you made when I reacted to his new album, Almost Healed. Uh, I fully respect that artists are going to have like different eras of music and, and all that. So I'm not trying to compare, but... I just gotta say, like, this album for me is, like, so, so much, like, my style of what I enjoy and the type of music that I like to hear and the type of lyrics that I try to like to hear so far. Um, we're gonna keep going down this and see what's up. This song title is interesting to me. This is called Trifling Hose. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting for me to type into, uh, into 
Google. Don't do that. Some weird stuff might pop up. Let me do that. I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. I got the genius lyrics pulled up. We're checking out this song. Leo, flip the beat, yo. Fuck that bitch, ain't no respect for. That little bitch turn her back so quick, you ain't got no check for. I seen the type of nigga she fuck with no respect for. Act like a dog, then I take you to a pet store. I fuck her crazy, then I move on to the next whore. I do you dirty, how you knocking on your ex door? You think you bougie, but you bougie for the internet. Your pussy dookie, gotta spit on it just to get it wet. She fucked the movie, said she wish that she could take it back. Tell me how you hate the clout, now you chasing it. I can treat you like a clown, bitch, you waiting on the purse. I can really put you down, bitch, you waiting on the first. She say, why ain't fuck her twice? I say, I'm waiting on my perks. I can see your cousins now with their faces on your shirt. Hold on, wait, hey, bitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, bitch. Hold on, wait, bitch. Hold on, hold on, wait, bitch. Hold on, hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on, wait, bitch. Hold on, wait, bitch. Hold on, hold on, wait, bitch. Tell me how many niggas you fuck. You tell me how many dicks you suck. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't just say, tell me how many people you slept with and then blow his whistle afterwards like that. That's the type of whistle. That's the type of whistle sound you make when somebody says something like really high, like a really high number. Whoa, like that. Bitch, tell me how many niggas you fuck. You tell me how many dicks you suck. I'm like, yeah. Damn. Freaky bitch, I wish you'd take a turn. When the fuck I say I'm coming back, they never learn. Smoke a hotel bathroom out and let the water run. Count a hundred thousand cash, then I cut my thumb. Bitch, you can't lie to me, you can't tell. That was hard. Count a hundred thousand cash, damn near cut my thumb like a paper cut because he's so much paper. Count a hundred thousand cash, then I cut my thumb. Bitch, you can't lie to me, you can't tell me what can fuck. Uh, you was acting so unsure, we was taking turns. Uh, you know now I fucked your friend, bitch, you got the nerve. Uh, you was trying to catch us up when you got the word. Uh, after the phone while he was calling, then I made her nervous. He didn't even know I was at her crib, I'm like, damn, I'm dirty. <laughs> Call with phone when I left, I said her pussy murder. Plus she stayed next to the house, I had to close the curtain. Fuck that bitch, suck a rich nigga dick. Ain't the only rich nigga, I can never give you kiss. That you suck it with the ice, you gotta mix it with the spit. You can be my hoe forever, I can never give you shit. Hold on, wait, hey, The way he finished that verse, just like the kind of, the flow he got on, super 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 catchy i like that part a lot uh obviously like pretty vulgar content in terms of like the lyrics but the flow and the sound of this uh and again for me it's like albums are more about balance right so when i listen to like what i've listened to so far then a song like this it it like makes sense to me that it's here because we've had a lot of the other stuff right so um it's just yeah i think for me when it's only a certain type of content it can become overbearing and so far i really like the balance on this on this album That's another thing I gotta say, the beat selection, the production so far has been really good as well. These guys all have good teams, man. Like in this category of music, like, you know, when I listen to Youngboy, Dirk, Polo, like I listen to all these rappers um, and it's just, their beats are just always really good. <laughs> I've There's been some that were like kind of more, I think almost like experimental and then those are moments where like yeah you there's a higher chance you might not like the beat but that's the whole point of doing something experimental you're like either people are going to like this or they're not but there's only one way to find out um cool internet sensation this is the next track this looks like it has more views than the typical ones we've been searching up so curious to see what what this is here we go This is how I feel, I got your love attached to me And you know I truly love you, it was never about no pussy And you told me that them niggas ain't for me, they just want my money And I like the way you is, you ain't trying to kick it with my buddies And I gotta have it, and I like that you don't judge me 
And it's so fucked up that I'm glad to be a junkie To fall in love, I say I've been afraid I'm mixing lean with lyrical lemonade And we on top, ain't no more public aid Or call your boss to get another raise I drop some backward ashes in the rave Reminiscing about the older days uh, Yo, hold up Okay, so before we get into this chorus I want to say those last four lines uh, are, are some of my favorite type of lines Rags to riches He says, we're on top No more public aid Like, what What an opposite is like, you know And I think what gives context to the opposite uh, Is like these next two lines So, you know, we, we already said On top, public aid Then, we, then he goes into this next line He says, or calling your boss to get another raise so that was the that was the down here thing and then he goes i dropped some backwood ash in the wraith the guy's sitting in the wraith rags to riches love it i dropped some backwood ashes in the wraith reminiscing about the older days uh, 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 uh. i gotta raise the roof for the people and let the net run their relationship uh, 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 uh. i gotta raise the roof for the female who don't listen to another Yo. I gotta raise the roof for the niggas and the trainers turn to gentlemen. Let's go. I gotta tell the truth. This the best relationship I ever been in. Whoever thought that I can make this shit? Voice of the streets in relationship. And we don't care what the rumor is. Fuck these other hoes cause I love my bitch. Alexander McQueen and Rockstar Jean. The prosecutor hating cause I'm doing my thing. Man, this dude really does have a lot of voices. Like, even just in this verse so far, we're halfway through, he's used like three different ones. Alexander McQueen and Rockstar Jean. The prosecutor hating cause I'm doing my thing. Yep. Six kids plus her daughter, that's what it is. Yo. I seen Real fall in love, I know that shit crazy. I seen Buka fall in love, I know that shit crazy. Inside, I don't let her outside run that situation. And it's me and her forever, it's a situation, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I gotta raise the roof for the people and let the net run their relationship. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. I gotta raise the roof for the female who don't listen to another bitch. Uh, uh, uh. I gotta raise the roof for the niggas and the traders turn to gentlemen. Uh, uh, uh. I gotta tell the truth, this the best relationship I've ever been in. Yes, sir. This album, man. Wow. That's all right. Let's keep it rolling, guys. Let's keep it rolling. This is this is nice. Um, this one looks interesting. This one's called Street Prayer. And it actually looks like he's wearing like um, uh, like this this hat that you'd see uh, worn by like people in the Muslim faith. Uh, so I'm curious what uh, what's happening here, or what he's going to talk about here. Um, let's pull up the lyrics. Got the lyrics right here on Genius, and we're going in. Like I said, there's a music video. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that upstairs. I think my family got home. And they seem to be like running around like right on top of me, so. Sorry, I'm just gonna send my wife a quick text because I told her like if they're like jumping around right on top of me, it's really loud. Hey babe, please avoid running on top of me. Thank you. I hope to I hope the inflection of the thank you comes across and not thanks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's pay attention. Let's pay attention. About the shit that I done I took good care of the streets I'm an icon I got snake by some niggas Took care of my son I ain't put that on a lawyer Got them tied to The way you wrote that statement You a writer Told on them in the station Gave them right up DD did town with no lawyer With survival I'ma cut your ass right off Hang with my rivals 
Catch a case while you a felon, I say it's my gun They got my picture in the face, say I'm a disciple They say I switched up cause I don't believe in the Bible First time on the head, I kept my ass closed Only nigga I'm scared of is John Doe so that was a dope thing. He's, it says they got my picture in the Fed. Say I'm a disciple. Um, isn't that like a big gang in Chicago? Like GDs? Is that correct? Um, let me know. I, I could be remembering wrong. I'm trying to remember back to the um, one of the like docu videos that I watched. Uh, but the part that's dope here is he said I'm a disciple. So now he's like disciples also. You know a very biblical reference like jesus and his disciples and so in this next line when he says they say i switched up because i don't believe in the bible so it's a really nice setup for him to go from there uh and then go into that bible line i like that a lot time on the head i kill my ass closed only nigga i'm scared yeah. of is john doe and no supporter make your time slow just a real nigga without trying to the only person i'm scared of is john doe um so like unknown Right? Because you only say John Doe if you don't have identity on somebody. He's not, at the moment, he doesn't know if he's scared of anybody. <laughs> Unknown. That was dope. Uh, first time on a hit, I kept my eyes closed. That was like a very, like, visceral line. Like, it made you feel like you could see that happening, right? See the trenches head made up. Little nigga got my weight up. Hard work and dedication. Street niggas need to pray up. 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 It be your dog, it be your dog. That shit so crazy, what happened to law? When the streets took baby D, your head came with a flaw. Granny asked me when Nooski had his crush in my heart. Trying to smoke on some Zaza, just pass me the top. The reason I can't trust y'all, you're talking to ops. That shit be strange when they say they love you. They say I changed when I got a hundred. You can't complain, cause I've been a hundred. And what time is at the trench, buying different bullets. Hop out of college, right into the bushes. Run right on them, why them niggas looking? Blood in my eyes, they trying to get me. I'm the most wanted in my city. I'm the most hated in my city. Gotta watch out for the niggas who gon' envy. See the trenches head made up. That's a real line. Gotta watch out for those people that are gonna envy. 100%. Lil' nigga got my weight up. Hard work and dedication. Street niggas need a prayer. Street niggas need a prayer. Street niggas need a prayer. Yeah. Street niggas need a prayer. Yeah. Street niggas need a prayer. Yeah. That's dope, man. Like in terms of what I was seeing in the video, like if that's something that you know he does regularly and it wasn't just like a shot for the video, which I doubt that it is. Like a lot of these guys do try to give back to their community and try to affect some sort of change. Um, but that was like a super dope visual to have in the background with that particular song. Uh, listen, at this at this point, I said a few songs ago the balance was good. I'll definitely say the balance has more shifted to like mostly uh, pain songs or like you know more meaningful songs versus just straight violence. Uh, I don't know if the second half of the album will have a little bit more of those to restore the balance. Now, as far as this goes, this is another comment that people had made on the videos, and they were like, "You got to remember, these guys are street artists, so the reason there's a lot of violent and street." music is because those people like that category of people would prefer to listen to that right so um it really just makes sense now if you're asking me i like this album a lot because like there's a lot of songs that are what i would like to listen to <laughs> you know what i'm saying so anyways uh we're up to the last song on this first half of the album uh, remember, we skipped three because we'd already done those. So I'm still stopping at the 11th track on the track list just so that we are actually halfway through the album. And then I'll do the next 11 tracks all on one uh, video. Probably next week is, is going to be the goal. Uh, but this is the last song. And this is called Chirac Demons featuring G Herbo. And uh, I'm actually kind of glad that 
this is on here because people had commented many times that they wanted me to check out G Herbo. To be honest, I was like already checking out so many artists that I felt like if I added another artist, then it would just like, I had to actually stop reacting to certain artists because I was like, I'm so all over the place. If I can try to make progress on like the main artists that I'm reacting to now and then come back and then finish more of their discography. So it made sense to me. Hopefully it makes sense to you guys. Last song, here we go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, also no auto herb shit in this motherfucker, bro. Real shy right things, you did. Gang. PTSD, I'll be off of drugs in a day. Gotta watch out for my dog, they tryna get me out the way. I can't be around my fellas, cause I got a pen and cake. Got my dog out for a 90 and I dropped him off a cake. Call Johnny, no veneers, I need like 90 in the face. Man, the one that day, he had like 90 to his face. I can't talk about how he died, cause they gon' build another case. He wasn't in here, he came back, then he died. Every candle lit, I buy Audemars. Don't be focused all the time, cause I buy all the cars. I buy all the guns, her got all the ones Ain't no G-Face, so I buy all the lady ones That was a dope line, I don't be focused all the time Cause I buy all the cars I know God gon' keep me safe, I got my gun when I pray We just found out ways, they can't have no fun, we gon' lay It ain't nothing but six shots, but I had to run with that A Ain't nothing less than 30 shots when I got my son, I can't play He just called five up top, now his body numb, gon' slay Look bro, got a nigga leaving out the club, gon' blaze Shadrack demons, you can't save us, coke and guns, that's what raised us I told Dirk them they got buddy out the way, quick on blaze Yo, he just said Shyrak demons, you can't save us. Coke and guns, that's what raised us. Holy smokes, that's a, that's crazy. Uh, that's G Herbo. That's the first time I'm hearing him. His voice is interesting. His flow, uh, I'm not gonna make too many comments because it's my very first time. So I think once I hear more of him, I'll kind of get accustomed to what he sounds like. Uh, but just off off the first impression, that was a crazy line at the end. Uh, voice voice sounds good. The flow was interesting to me. Um, I gotta hear more. Niggas selling sauce, I hope we not about half a pound. Got the rack inside the stool, but we gon' rob the out of town. Four five at my crib, your head search my crib, he never found. Good boy, he better graduate before this Draco cap and count. I fuck half the Nah, this dude just said he better graduate before this Draco cap and gown him. Oh my god. He never found the boy, he better graduate before this Draco cap and count. I fuck half the strippers. I was fucking Hooper's baby mama. I might pull out quick and bust up on they face and use a con. Used to call the folks a snake, now he a snake and a con. Every time you look up, all the eyes be dead. Every summer, man, what? Every summer, yeah, yeah. Every summer, yeah, yeah. Every summer, get back in. Every summer, get back. What? Every summer, get back in. Every summer, get back. Every summer, get back in. Every summer, yeah. We on S's with two hundred shots. Every summer, look for them be. Wild now, cause we got bread coming. And I know a nigga telling their time the fans coming. Would've never got your mans, you wasn't in there saying nothing. He a op that know me from the ground, call him fan buddy. My little homie just did some bad shit, ain't getting his dreads cut. If he got some work in my block, plotting on him, yeah, they trunking him. Top shots, he pop out slumping him, they standing under him. Over him. Boy, you ain't no savage, I don't fuck with him. I just saw the ops with all my chains, I ain't tucking him. And I walked right past him in the club, cause I was clutching. You know that? Look, Dirk got. 50, I got 50, it's a buck on Man, what? That was hard. He said, I just saw my I just saw the ops with all my chains. I ain't tucking them. He's like, I'm not hiding this. I'm not scared. I walk right past him in the club because I was clutching them. And then the last line, Dirk got a 50, I got a 50. It's a buck on him. Holy smoke. That was hard. Uh listen, voice is really good in terms of just like the way his voice sounds. Um, the lyrics were hard. Uh, the flow again is just making me like there's parts of it in both verses there was parts where it felt like 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 it was flowing well and then there was a couple lines where it kind of felt like almost forced and like a little bit clunky like a little bit clumsy maybe is a better word and then like back into the flow so that's the only thoughts that I have right now in terms of my first uh First impression of G Herbo, but uh, let's finish out the song.
right before that song, I was talking about balance, and uh, I would say that song definitely is restoring the balance. That was that was aggressive. That was violent. Um, man, I really like this so far. I'm excited to check out the rest of it. Uh, as I said, I'm going to aim for next week to drop part two. Uh, I just have a lot of things on my list that I'm trying to get through. Um, but we are going to finish this album. If you guys are still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.